During the period of rapid economic growth in the 1950s and 1960s, railways played a central role in domestic transportation. To meet the booming transportation demand, the electrification of major main lines progressed, and EMUs advanced into premium trains. Meanwhile, numerous night trains ran to regions such as Kyushu and Tohoku, continuously meeting the high transportation demand. However, sleeping cars were inconvenient to use as seating cars and usually rested in marshalling yards during the day. This resulted in poor operational efficiency of the rolling stock and required vast storage spaces. Therefore, carriages that could be used as seating cars during the day and as sleeping cars at night were developed. At that time, it was common sense that sleeping cars were quiet passenger cars, and there was still resistance to making EMUs into sleeping cars. However, there was also a demand for highly mobile sleeping trains, and since there were few electrified lines, diesel sleeping cars were seriously considered, with tests already conducted on the Kitakami line. However, since many EMU and diesel express trains were already operating during the day, there was no choice but to use EMUs, which had the necessary performance to schedule them equally. Thus, the 581 series sleeper seat convertible express EMUs were developed. The car body was widened to the vehicle limit, and three-tiered sleeping berths were secured except where the current collection equipment was located. Unlike previous sleeping cars, which had berths arranged perpendicular to the direction of travel, these berths were arranged in two parallel rows in the direction of travel and could be converted into four-person box seats during the day. Although the box seats during the day were not suitable for express trains, the seat pitch was widened to make them more spacious. As a result, even though it was a formation with only second-class cars, the seating capacity for day express trains was reduced. To ensure the same capacity as the 481 series 6M5T formation, the 6M6T formation became the standard. As second-class sleepers at the time, they offered unparalleled space, debuting as sleepers where passengers could even turn over comfortably. The car body had a color scheme similar to the Shinkansen Zero series, giving people the impression that the Shinkansen had arrived in their village. The design of the leading car was significantly changed from the Kodama type, with the cab windows made of flat glass only, and a new design featuring a through door at the front. The long-distance sleeper trains heading to Kyushu were operated as two trains combined into one on the Takedo and Sanayo main lines, making separation and coupling essential for EMUs. The through door was split into two from the center, opening on two rails installed at the front. Behind the through door was a hinged door with a head mark, which rotated and was stored on the assistance side. The box containing the head mark was stored inside the hinged door to avoid obstructing the passage. The removal of the bonnet protrusion and the central through passage eliminated the space for the large electric generator, so a machinery room was established behind the cab like the Ichigo Onana series, with the electric generator mounted on top of its floor. Despite the large car body cross-section and the disadvantage of heavy AC equipment on a basic DC EMU structure, the extensive use of plastic and FRP contributed to weight reduction, making the vehicle not as heavy as it appeared. Compared to the 181 Series 6M6T formation, there were some performance differences, but it could generally run on similar schedules in limited express operations with fewer accelerations and decelerations. 
The challenging Sinohachi climb on the Sanayo main line could be managed without helper locomotives, maintaining rated current in parallel full field mode. The world's first sleeper seat convertible limited express EMU, born with great expectations, began operation in 1967.